Hello ladies and gents, I hope you're having a great day. I'm planning on doing a YouTube series here on my channel that starts to address and tackle some of the problems associated with improving in-game. This is a question I get asked a whole, whole bunch on my stream, whether it be a chilled stream or whether it be a casted stream from people saying, hey Vince, I'm silver, I'm gold, Nova, how do I reach the heights of DMG and above? It's a very intricate, detailed question that actually is quite difficult to answer. So I'm going to break it down into bite-sized pieces and try and tackle it each part at a time. So the part number one here in this series is called setting up your game. Now, before I really get into the nitty-gritty stuff, it's not going to be glitzy or glamorous or anything like that because I honestly don't have the time to put in to learn all these graphics and make it as snazzy as possible. So I hope you're okay with that, guys. It's straightforward as I am and pretty to the point. So here we go. Setting up your game. These are in no particular order, but they're all really important. And I'd highly recommend that you sort all of these issues out before you go into your first matchmaking game or ESEA, Face It, Sivo, whatever it is that you're wanting to jump into and tackle. Get these sorted first. These are the foundations that you build that grind on top of. Seat and desk position. This is such an underrated aspect of setting up your game. And it's twofold. The first one is that if you have the correct seating and desk position, so if the mouse is in the right place and your seat is in the right place, you're going to be much more comfortable playing the game. You're never going to be colliding your hand with maybe the table or your chair or anything like that, which actually in clutch rounds can make or break certain plays. It has for me anyway in the past. But also, more importantly, I would say, is that there are known health impacts and implications and issues that can derive from you being sat in the wrong position for a long period of time throughout your life. So you want to make sure you're sat in the right position, that your back's not taking any unneeded stress, and therefore you're not going to have any health problems when you're getting towards the age of 40 or 50 perhaps. For example, in my position, I've had a lot of back problems before because of injuries that aren't computer related, but sometimes if I'm playing a game and I'm sat in the wrong position, I'll start to feel that my back will begin to hurt. So it's a very important thing that you need to nip in the bud before it does become a problem and take it from me, someone with personal experience. It really can mess you up. Secondly, crosshair. Do you prefer a bigger or smaller crosshair? Do you prefer a light blue crosshair or a dark colored crosshair? It's completely up to you. And that's another key point of all these things here. It's all personal preference. There is no right and there is no wrong answer. What feels good to you? What makes you perform better? What makes you more efficient as a player? It's going to be down to what you personally feel. And, and please, and this is really another important thing, which I have actually heard leveled at myself and other players as well, is, oh, well, you can't use that because the pros don't use it. And if you don't use it, you're trash because the pros don't use it. That's bullshit. That's a complete wrong way of looking at things. Look at it this way. If you were to use GetRight's Crossfair and his config and his resolution, would you automatically become GetRight? Would you automatically become as good as him? No. Why is that? Well, because Get Right has put in so much time and effort into this game and he's naturally talented at the game. Just because you happen to put his crosshair and his config on does not automatically make you a pro. And for the same reason to flip that on its head, if you happen to use a different crosshair or config to him, it doesn't automatically make you shit. These are personal preference things. Find something that works for you and feels right. Config, get your key bindings sorted out. Get the brightness, the gamma, whatever it is you want to call it, sorted out so that your eyes can adjust properly and you can see things clearer. You wouldn't believe this, but I've actually lost a few rounds in CS and matchmaking in ESEA because some asshat joined the game and didn't bind his keys to defuse the bomb. And we actually lost rounds. That is an unforgivable mistake that you should not be finding yourself in that position. So get all of this shit sorted before you jump into those matchmaking games and start the grind to becoming a better player. Next up is resolution. Do you prefer a smaller resolution where everything appears to be bigger? Or do you prefer a bigger resolution where everything seems to be further away and a bit clearer? Completely up to you again. And finally, sensitivity. And of course, by that, what I'm talking about is the mouse. DPI plays a key part here and your in-game sensitivity as well. And this is the point on this list that I get the most shit for because my sensitivity is kind of messed up. So with that being said, let's hop into the game and I'll show you some of the settings that I have so you can see for yourself what I'm talking about. So, first things first, you're going to see my crosshair. So let me just run around with this a tiny bit first. It's quite a small crosshair. It's light blue. It's static. Now, why did I pick this crosshair? Well, for me personally, I prefer a smaller crosshair so it's not as 
impactful in the game so I can actually see things at a further distance on this resolution. I just really, really like this crosshair. And I've tried a whole bunch of crosshairs. I've tried dynamic crosshairs. I've tried different colors. I've tried different sizes. I have tried every single crosshair you can probably imagine because I'm really picky when it comes to this stuff. And the reason why I like this color so much is because it never clashes with anything in the game. I never lose the crosshair while I'm fighting. And if you have quite a dark colored crosshair and brightness, there may be sometimes, especially in these tunnels for example, if you have a dark crosshair and a dark screen or whatever, you may lose the crosshair a tiny bit. And even if it's for a millisecond, if you have to then quickly snap aim at somebody's head, it could be the difference between getting the kill and ending up dying. So these are very important things that you need to fix before you jump into game. Now for sensitivity, I have, I don't know if you can actually catch that, I have 0 0.5 sensitivity in game, but this, this is the part where people are like, what the fuck? My DPI is 2000 on my mouse, which is way, way higher than I think anyone who is at the top level. And again, it doesn't matter who's at the top level and what they use. It's what makes me comfortable that counts in this situation. Now, why do I use that? Well, because for the longest time, I've always used a very high sensitivity in games I've played over the last 10, 15 years, and I just became used to it. And secondly, I have a very small desk and a very small mouse mat. So if I was to go to a very low sensitivity in DPI, I would find that my mouse was constantly falling off the mat, and that's not ideal at all. Next up, video settings. I have full screen windowed mode on, and that effectively means 1920 by 1080 resolution. Now you can see in game everything's really clear, there's no crap on the floor, it still looks pretty beautiful to me, I really like the look of the game here. And I also have shadows on, that allows me to see if someone's coming around a corner for example and give me that split second advantage. Again, it's personal preference, these things may not work for you, you may be looking at this and throwing up a bit in your mouth, that's just how it works. Full screen window does mean that I get a slight FPS disadvantage and there are some instability issues at times. But the reason I use this again is personal preference related because I stream every time I play CS. So I like to be able to alt tab quickly without it actually shutting down the game momentarily so it doesn't bother my uh, Twitch stream. And additionally I like to be able to put different songs on and all that good stuff and interact with my chat. So again, that's personal preference. Like it or leave it, it's a completely up to you. Trial and error is absolutely key for this first step on the grind to becoming a better player. So with that being said, let's summarize here and jump back into the text. So for part number one, I would challenge you, if you're currently in this position, you're wanting to get better, you're in this likes of Silver or Golden Over, or maybe you're like DMG and you just want to jump up to Legendary Eagle, get the right seat and desk position. It's never too late to change these things. Crosshair, are you happy with your crosshair or could you end up changing it to another one and potentially improving? Config, resolution, and finally sensitivity. These are all huge aspects of going on your way from whichever rank you are right now to the one that you have set in mind. All the best guys, I hope this has helped. Give me some feedback or drop it a like if you've enjoyed this series and want to see it to continue. And next up I'll be tackling more issues on how you can improve as a gamer in Counter-Strike. I'll catch you guys in part two.